Diametrodon is an extinct synapsid, which lived approximately 295 million to 272 million years ago during the Permian period. It was first discovered during the 19th century and was named by Edward Drinker Kolb in 1878. Diametrodon, which means two measures tooth, had different kinds of teeth in its rather large skull. The first set of teeth are designed to capture and hold prey. The second set of teeth were used to shear flesh from bone. Judging from its teeth and jaw design, it's quite obvious to paleontologists that Diametrodon was a meat eater. These animals' fossils have been found all over the world. They have been found all over Europe, in Texas and Oklahoma in the US, and in parts of Nova Scotia, Canada. It would appear that this was a very successful and widespread animal during its 20 million year span. Although Diametrodon pictures make this animal look like a dinosaur, it was in fact a synapsid, which is a type of reptile. It was about 15 feet long, weighed around 550 pounds and walked on all four legs. It had an enormous sail fin on its back and had a long tail. One of the most interesting facts about Dimetrodon is that paleontologists believe that the enormous fin on the back of this animal was used to regulate temperature. During the day, it's believed that it would have absorbed heat from the sun, heat that would slowly be released at night when it got colder. However, that's not the only theory about this animal's sail fin. Other paleontologists have theorized that it could have been used to intimidate other animals or that it was used during mating. Of course, any or all of these three theories may be true. To the untrained eye, the 200-pound Edaphosaurus looks like a scaled-down version of Dimetrodon, complete with tiny head and miniaturized sail. However, this ancient Pelicosoa subsisted mostly on plants and mollusks, whereas Dimetrodon was a devoted meat-eater. Edaphosaurus lived slightly before the Golden Age of Dimetrodon, during the late Carboniferous and early Permian period, but it's possible that these two genera briefly overlapped, meaning that Dimetrodon may have preyed on its smaller cousin. One of the primary features that distinguished the first true dinosaurs from the archosaurs, pelicosaurs and therapsids that preceded them was the upright locked-in orientation of their limbs. That's why, among other reasons, we can be sure that Dimetrodon wasn't a dinosaur. This reptile walked with a distinctly ambling, splay-footed crocodilian gait, rather than the upright vertical posture of the comparably sized dinosaurs that evolved tens of millions of years later. Thanks to the fact that so many Dimetrodon fossils have been discovered, paleontologists theorized that there was an essential difference between sexes. Full-grown males were slightly larger, about 15 feet long and 500 pounds, with thicker bones and more prominent sails. This lends support to the theory that Dimetrodon's sail was at least partly a sexually selected characteristic. Males with bigger sails were more attractive to females during mating season.